water cup. Chipotle seems to know that customers who ask for a water cup often fill it with lemonade at the beverage station. The promotional candles are available on Chipotle's website and cost $28. And tensions are growing between Amazon and the Federal Trade Commission. The e-commerce company is accusing the governmental agency of, quote, making burdensome legal requests that serve no other purpose than to harass Amazon's highest-ranking executives and disrupt its business operations, end quote. Amazon is asking FTC higher-ups to intervene and limit the scope of requests for information. They also want more time to respond to requests and for the company's lawyers to represent current or former Amazon officials. The FTC has been looking into whether Amazon may have used unlawfully deceptive techniques to sign people up for Amazon Prime since March of last year. And the sharing economy allows you to rent strangers' homes when you're on vacation and to jump into other people's cars when you need a ride. And you can do the same thing by jumping into a stranger's pool by using the Swimply app. It's like Airbnb and renting swimming pools. Simply actually has been around for a while now since 2018, but gained traction during the pandemic as people sought safer ways to socialize outdoors. Hosts set up their own rates and give Simply a 15% cut. And new parents searching for baby formula may have a better chance of buying it now. The market research firm Information Resources Incorporated says out-of-stock rates for baby powder formula are showing some improvement. According to the firm's data, 25% of the infant products were out of stock last week, but that's better than the rate was in mid-July when it hit a high of 31%. And electric vehicles owners are getting new tax credits thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act. With the new system, buyers can still receive up to $7,500, but the limit has been removed. There are some new restrictions based on where the components are assembled. The new law also enacts limits on the cost of the cars and the income of the buyer. And now shifting to your entertainment headlines this morning. This week marks the 45th anniversary of the death of Elvis Presley, and his legacy as the king of rock and roll remains strong. Elvis, Elvis died of a heart attack on August 16, 1977, at his Graceland home in Memphis. He was just 42 years old. Now, his wife Priscilla Presley joined more than 30,000 fans for a candlelight vigil at his grave at Graceland on Monday, and she says it's unbelievable to see that number of people still come to honor him. And still to come on Sunrise, we shine a light on several local students who earn scholarships for their hard work and creative work. Next in Brightside. Get the home makeover you've been dreaming of with the Renovation Sensation Giveaway at Paradise Casino. Select Saturdays now through December. Play for the chance to win cash or home renovation prizes. So much, so close.